like I say. I gotta hike back down there and from this side and go back up and get to the road over there. Here we are uh, standing at a place where in the year, or I should say the fall before the year of Kadesh, I was uh, camped out in my trailer before I went on up above my claim for a couple weeks. So it was a full moon, me and my dog Diamond, we hiked down maybe a quarter, half mile down to this spot. Just for something to do at night, just to enjoy you know, the woods at night. When we heard the coyotes up kind of to the side of me here, my right side. And I, so I thought I'd just reply back and, you know, make a bunch of coyote sounds. That's when I heard this uh, uh, ear-piercing sound between me and the coyotes. Yes, it was right about here where this spur of the road meets the main road. It comes in. To me and my dog Diamond were when we heard the coyote. So I just yelled back, yip, 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 yip. And they were up between that hill and me when all of a sudden I heard this sound of And it took off running like sound, or I mean it wasn't a running sound, but the noise traveled quickly and fell alongside that hill between us and the coyotes. And I didn't think too much of it. For some reason, I just thought, well, that's very interesting. Well, the sound, it just kind of dissipated, and I walked, started walking up the spur till the end, and, when I, and then I decided to turn around and come back. I almost forgot about the sound I heard. I figured maybe a bear or something. And Sasquatch did go by my mind at that time. And then we were standing about this spot right there. You're looking at this spur. And the full moon was so bright. And I was thinking about the movie with Charleston Heston, The Ten Commandments. Because the clouds are starting to swirl around the moon and cover it up. And I thought, oh, Lord, send me an angel. At that time, there was this another great sound that came from this spot right over here. I heard the sound on the other side of me now. I had that thing, whatever it was, had circled clear around and come up on the back side or down road from the spur where I was. Well, my dog, you know, he just wagged the tail and looked at me and thought nothing of what was down there in those woods. And it was getting dark quickly with the moon being covered up, so we hiked back to the trailer where I had a kerosene lamp going. And just before I got to the kerosene lamp, well, the coyotes were alongside us and just barking. I mean, they were about 20 feet. You can't see them. It's getting really dark. They're in the woods. You can hear them out there just having a time. And my little diamond, he just goes off and went off and played with him, which I thought maybe I'd never see him again. But I got to my trailer. Ten minutes later, he was there at the door, just wagging his tail, wanting back in. So that was the first experience of that sound. Yeah, the next time I heard that sound was about two days later. Or actually, it was two nights later. I was in my trailer. It was about the same time as it was uh, the two days before. And outside, behind my trailer, I heard that sound again. <laughs> yeah, that sound was right outside my cabin, wherever it was. Back then, this clear cut was full of trees, and it was out there in those trees. So I opened up my trailer door and said, hey, you guys, to my dogs, Brandy and Diamond, which is the only two I had at that time. I said, why don't you go check it out? They just wagged their tails and looked at me and says, huh, we don't hear anything. So I just thought, oh, okay. And that was the last I thought about that sound until uh, perhaps uh, the next spring.
Yeah, it was the next spring when I was coming out. And it was nearing the main road, the county road, off of this gravel road. When I came upon a guy uh, in a love pickup, he was sitting there. It was getting close to dark. And I stopped to see if everything was okay, and I guess there was something wrong with his truck. He told me he was going to spend the night there because he didn't want anything to happen to his truck. He didn't trust it there overnight. Then he proceeded to tell me a story about walking out one night. It was in the same area where I had heard that sound the first time. He said he was, he explained where it was. I had never told him what I heard. He just started telling the story. He said, I was walking through the woods there. He said, when I heard something out in the woods alongside me, walking, he said, they made very large strides. He says, you know, maybe almost 10 feet, eight, 10 foot, whatever it was, it was very huge. It seemed to him, these strides. And it was making a small sound like, and he said he would never forget that experience. You know, I told all together and the stories other friends told me about coming out in the woods and hearing what they said they believe was a Sasquatch. And I believe now, I perhaps, that was what I experienced, was a Sasquatch. Well, I think next we're going to go down to the experience the Chinese claim, the Hallback. Many names. But I, I call it the Chinese claim for one, and I do believe that is where there was quite a history on this river. So let's proceed on.